And so, that's another great opportunity for you to to perform. Yeah. How does what what do you, what, what do you take from that from um, doing? Because because a lot of performers, actors, singers, that is a a job that we can go to. It's oh, a job yeah. that I've gone to as an actor. Yeah. Spider Man, yeah. Iron Man, Batman <laughs> at birthday that. parties. Like I've done tons of that. Like, Father Christmas. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's, a, it's, it's a, always it's, something. Yeah, there's always them. Yeah, roles I did a lot of that. There. Within the six months I got into it, I, I did quite a few different performing things just mm-hmm. to keep me singing. Yes. Um, yeah. Because I'm. And that's important doing just, the work, isn't it? Yeah. Doing absolutely. doing your craft. Yeah. Whatever in ever whatever way you can. Yeah. So yeah. I did um, a lot of brunches, so mm-hmm. boozy brunches. Uh, right, where okay. there was ABBA performers or Disney mm-hmm. performers mm-hmm. Um, or Spice Girls. Boozy brunch, I don't think I've heard of these. Yeah, so they're like this bottomless like... brunches right. and you can drink as much as you can for a few hours. Okay, it's carnage. it sounds dangerous. It's like, it's like, it starts <laughs> at like 11 in the morning. And it, you'll be there as a performer. Uh, yeah. Right. So um, I watch all of this chaos unfold <laughs> while singing a bit of ABBA. <laughs> and um, yeah, I did a lot of that. Mm-hmm. And they were mostly in London, which was great because mm-hmm. the commute was so easy for me to do. Um also did Disney ones where um, you'd be, it'd be the same concept, but with Disney characters. So that was great. And that kind of got me into the Disney princess stuff because mm-hmm. I did, I performed as sort of Ariel Elsa on in sort of the adult brunches um, for singing. And mm-hmm. then I just loved that sort of idea of maybe applying for a princess company mm-hmm. um, to do this for like kids parties and, it wouldn't be as it would be a different kind of carnage, <laughs> and um, and you've had some experience with the young kids with the with the yeah with the camp. entertainment yeah. work. I worked so it with makes sense. Um, four to seven year olds mm-hmm. there. That was my group, so I was very confident in working with kids and entertaining children um, and running sort of like not kids club. Well, the parties aren't really kids club, but essentially it was the same thing because you'd have to run and plan all the things and all the timings, mm-hmm. and I was very confident with doing that. Just just had to be a Disney character <laughs> and yeah. a princess so which is which is great I loved I loved dressing up when I was a kid I, it was amazing yeah and, yeah. Um, and, and, and you know what I felt the same when I first started doing Spider-Man jobs at parties yeah. like all right I was in my 30s doing it yeah <laughs> but I was still like actually this is me yeah you know this so is what fun. this is what I did yeah. as a kid I was Spider-Man I loved that yeah. well, why can't I not love that now yeah <laughs> and exactly like, and like the kids exactly the kids the believe it more as well don't they, they do. when you love it yeah you know absolutely I've never but my had knee, my knees got it. too sore my back got too sore to be Spider-Man anymore oh, with all the tumbles <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was like one day I was like no I'm done. Yeah. I, I cannot take this pain Luckily, anymore. none of the princesses do that. So no, it's, it's no. very chill. But I, um, I, yeah, I love doing that. So I've done various roles, um, mostly Elsa, mm-hmm. just because the blue eyes and the the pale skin <laughs> yes, <laughs> worked yeah. pretty well. Yeah. Um, and then also I would tend to be more blonde characters, mm-hmm. purely for blonde features. And because I'm naturally blonde, my eyebrows are really light and my eyes are blue. So mm-hmm. then... So the cast, casting wise, the ca- yes, they they really really were careful with it, and it's oh, right, a very okay. respected company. Yeah, because in Hertfordshire as yeah, well. and I think with the, those things, you can. It's surprising actually if the kids don't believe, they'll be very upset. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and the parents, the older they get, the when older there's they, a seven or an eight year old that's yeah. having a party, you mm-hmm. really have to commit. Yes, yeah, and you have to have answers for everything. And they've got a lot of questions. They do. You know, they really do. They ask you all the characters' names, and I think at one point a child asked. Um, me and another girl playing Anna, um, it was sort of like a meet and greet situation. They're like, what's your parents' names? And mm-hmm. I was like, I don't even remember. They test you, don't they? And I was like, they didn't even say that in the film. <laughs> <laughs> but it's in the book. Yeah, exactly. So it's, it's like, it's you've got to always yeah. be ready. Mm-hmm. And um, it was... I, I found it great for learning improvisation, actually. Oh, my goodness, yes. Because you have to think you on the spot. To. They're going to come up to your questions. They're going to ask you what you had for breakfast. Yeah. Uh, who you, where you, you where you're where you going think of it home. in character all the time. It, yeah. was, it was so good for that. It was mm. really, really a unique experience. Um, and at the start, I remember not being very confident. Um, and I'd sort of be the second princess so there would be another one and then oh it's daunting would, isn't it going yeah, in front of and then all they're them. really confident yeah and you're just sort of there like okay um mm. i watched the film last night but <laughs> <laughs> what else does sleep and beauty have i have no yeah, idea sure. <laughs> but um the more you do it the, the easier it becomes and mm-hmm. you just yeah it's just so wholesome it's actually one of the most wholesome jobs you can do is be a children's entertainer mm-hmm. because they genuinely wholeheartedly believe that you are Elsa and it's and they've and 
Elsa has come just for them to see yes, them yeah. and it's just their faces it's just so magical it mm-hmm. is really nice that's what I find with the Father Christmas work yes yeah, I love very Father, similar I love the Father Christmas yeah. work I hope no kids are listening. When I talk about Father Christmas work, kids, if you are listening, I talk about, you know, You're, working for him. Exactly. I work for and him. he can't be everywhere at once. No, he can't so be he everywhere at once. So, so many helpers. So I work for him. You were chosen to be one of yeah, his helpers, which But, but is when I'm working important. for him and I see those children, when I'm sitting in a chair and those kids come in and you see them and you see the belief in their eyes and mm. you see the, the happiness that you can bring to them for just that one tiny moment. It's amazing. And they've mm. built up that moment for so long as well. And it's mm. just... And it can be a core memory it. for them as well, exactly. can't it? Exactly. They'll remember that Because you've got probably memories similar. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and I have. And I remember Disney when I was four. Mm-hmm. Like when we went to Disney and I'd met the princesses. So I, I dress up as every day because I dressed up as Disney princesses just to go to Tesco. And my mum used to tell me to that we were leaving 10 minutes before we'd actually have to leave because she knew I'd have to pick a dress. <laughs> <laughs> so I've always loved that sort of side of it. And to do that for children is just mm-hmm. so nice. Even with my job now, 